hi, everybody. My name is Cassandra Curcio. Um, I am here to talk to you today about my final project called Chance for Pets. Um, a little bit about me, I am a full stack software engineer and my other official title here at Boca Code is the class animal lover. Um, any animal lovers in the room? Okay, cool. So we should hopefully get along, hopefully. Um, a little more details about myself. Before I became a software engineer, I was a registered nurse for about eight years. Um, I have a bachelor's of science in nursing and also a master's in nutrition. So passionate about a lot of things health, wellness, nutrition, technology, and animals. So um, in Boca Code, when I thought about how can I help one problem I see or one of my passions with technology, I went to animals. So what is the actual problem? I've noticed that there's an increasing number of cats and dogs, whether that be animals that are stray, that are in need of shelter, or whether that be animals that are in animal shelters or rescues that need homes. And I've noticed throughout the pandemic, this has even exacerbated the issue. If you see this chart from UF, there's almost 360,000 cats and dogs that have entered animal shelters in just 2021. Um, a sub issue within that big issue, as you can see, is a lot of these animals are in small kind of local animal rescues. And I feel a lot of these animals get left behind. The public doesn't know that they even exist. I don't know about you, but for me, my two cats, I went right to the Humane Society to adopt them. So there's a lot of cats and dogs that are out there that need homes. And I've also ran into situations, you know, we always see stray cats on the street. Uh, I had a kitten that decided to make its base underneath my car on a Friday night. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get, try to get this kitten some help. <coughs> it's hard, you know, you have to Google what rescue is available, are they open? So there's kind of an issue with communication with these small shelters. So what I've done to address this issue is created an application that kind of serves as a bridge between these animal rescues and the public. It creates a space where users can go on, they can see what cats and dogs are available for adoption in the area, and get in contact with these rescues. It also creates a platform where if they ran into that situation like I did, they found an animal that needed help, they could go on to get in touch with that rescue to try to help that animal. So let me show you a little demo. So when you go to the website, you are immediately shown the home page you have the option to create an account, sign up, or you can log in. So let's just log in. Not my personal email. <laughs> um, so if you scroll, now you're logged in. Um, you see the mission statement, and you can see what cats and dogs are available for adoption. So as you can see with the dress, I'm a cat person, but I do want to show you the dogs, and we'll go right back to the cats. <laughs> Right. Um, so these are all actual, like, real animals that need homes, by the way. So if anyone's looking, you know. <laughs> all right, let's go back up to the cats. So say you see an animal that you really like. I love Dragonfly. You can go here, click the details page. It will take you to an individual page with the details of that animal, what rescue they're at, how to get in contact with the rescue, a little bit more about that animal. So then we're going to go back to the home page and say, I really, you know, I want to maybe adopt, dra oh, Dragonfly's already favorited. Well, you know what? I also really like Dandelion. Let me favorite <laughs> Dandelion. <laughs> so I click the heart. It shows right here in the front end, but it also updates my database in the back end. Okay. So if you scroll back up to the top, the user can go to the nav bar, say they, you know, cat under the car. Oh my God, what do I do? Found an animal, let's go to the found an animal page. So you can submit a form and you know try to get in contact with the rescue. So before I do that, I just wanna show you, these are some uh, real, not real cats that are stray right now. <laughs> that, you know, oh my gosh, they're at the entrance to Central Park implantation, that's not good. Hopefully someone can help them and some dogs. But let's say, um, Alicia, you told me you saw a cat over there at the Boulay parking lot earlier, right? You didn't really do anything about it, but let me do something about it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We saw a small gray kitten and a grass in the Bolay parking lot. 
in Boca. And so what you can do, you can actually upload a photo that was taken of that animal. So then that'll post on the website. And then an image preview will pop up so you can see. So we got to help this guy. <laughs> All right, and then you can enter your phone number. That looks great. I know, but they still need some help. <laughs> or more help than we thought they needed, right? So. Flowers, that is so cute. Right? All right. And so when you hit submit, it will automatically post, and now the cat is on the list of the straight cats. Twice because I hit the button. And then um, if you're so inclined, you can log out, and it will take you right back to the home page. So the tech stack that I chose to use was MongoDB for my database. I built my API with Node and Express, which deployed to GCP with Fire Cloud, Firebase Cloud Functions. And I used React for my front end and deployed to Firebase hosting GCP as well. I did build out my sign up and login feature with the JSON web token. And um, for some styling, I used Ant D library and did some custom CSS as well. So um, in the future, I'd like to add further security and user customization. I'd like to make it so that individuals that have an account can have their own user profile page and have their own favorite page. And so that users that are associated with a rescue if they would only have access to that list of those stray cats and dogs and be able to, once they're able to help them, move them over to that main page, which makes them adoptable. I'd like to make a mobile version, and I'd like to add a search feature where people could search for either a rescue or um, animals by location so that they can see what animals are available for adoption just within a certain radius of where they are. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. Um, this is my QR code to my Boca Code candidate page with my resume, my GitHub, my LinkedIn. So please connect, and I'll open up to any questions. <laughs>